one more game here. Asphalt 9, uh, 8, sorry. Here we go. Start them up at the same time. So the again the Dell it's it's going a little bit faster. Loaded it a little bit faster, but uh really not that much. So so far the the, the power of the the quad core um isn't really showing any difference in terms of the load time. But let's uh let's actually get into gameplay and see if it makes a difference here. So again, on the, I've still got the Xbox controller connected, and you can use the uh, the Xbox uh, controller to play the game. So let's just let's just start this up and see. Yeah, the coloring is a little. <laughs> So something's wrong here in the coloring here, but uh, I'll start the race and see. Yeah, so I'm not sure what's going on with the the Acer screen's a little bit uh, it's gone wacky. Um, so it's not really, it's not really a good comparison if the, uh, this, the screen is a little bit, um, messed up on the Acer. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to check that out. I don't know if that's a problem in the game itself or, uh, I did notice when I, when I put the Acer really close to the, the Dell, uh, the the touch screen seems to go a little wonky, so it's quite possible that that's what's what's happened here. So this game looks pretty good, responds pretty well um, using the uh, the Xbox controller. So it's like having a little uh, little Xbox on the go here with this uh, wireless controller. Here you go. So far, everything that I've run between these two devices has been fairly close um, in terms of the performance, the Dell being a little bit faster. Um, why don't we run some benchmarks and check out the actual numbers. Alright, let's go ahead and run this one. So right away you can see the again the Dell comes up a lot faster. The graphics performance. Wow. Now this is where you're starting to see the difference. And um I'll check to make sure there isn't anything else running uh on the Dell on the Acer when this is finished because compared to everything else that we were seeing wow this is uh this is night and day so graphical performance uh definitely on the dell is uh much stronger by a long shot
Okay, well, 4.8 frames per second as opposed to 18 frames per second. Uh, I'm going to check to make sure that uh, we don't have something running in the background here on the uh, the Acer because um, that seemed very slow. Okay, so I restarted the Acer and we're going to run this test again because the Acer was horribly slow in that last test. So let's run it again. Again, the Dell starts off, and yeah, I don't think, I, I would think that that result from before is fairly accurate. The, the performance of the Dell is quite a bit uh, more powerful. Um, Yeah. Let's see if there's any other tests that we can run. Run another test on the the Dell while it's uh while the Acer's trying to finish the first test. So when it comes to graphical performance, by far the Dell uh, is a much uh, more powerful device, at least based on these benchmarks. So the Acer is still struggling to finish the first test. And the Dell is kind of just uh, breezing through. So 4.9 as opposed to 19. So that's uh, a good three times the performance there. Um, or more. So let's run the same Egypt test and um, it seems like it's a pretty long test so it might be something that I may have to pause the video and wait until uh, the results. So far the uh, Acer seems to be doing I think a little better on this one certainly looks that way so the uh, the Dell is completed um, 28 frames per second so what I'll do here is I'll I'll just uh, fast forward the video until we get the, the results from the Acer. Okay, so the Acer is finished. Uh, that one, uh, the e Egypt one, was a little bit better. Uh, 16 frames per second compared to 28. Um, still, the uh, Dell definitely um, much better in terms of the uh, performance. In terms of the graphical performance um, yeah I don't know if there's any so there you have it the comparison between the two the Dell uh, a little bit faster uh, in terms of the app usage um, the games I believe perform better on the Dell. The the graphical um, bench uh, marked definitely favor the Dell in terms of of uh, performance. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't really compare some of these games. Um, 
because the uh, Halo won't work on the the Dell and the Asphalt 8 seems to have a problem on the Acer so it's tough to kind of compare those um, but overall these are two um, pretty good uh, tablets uh, other than the screen issue on the uh, the Acer in terms of the screen quality if you can live with that it's a good little tab tablet the Dell um, is an awesome value um, at uh, the current price of uh, two ninety nine. Uh, I wouldn't recommend the thirty two gig version unless you're strictly going to use this um, as a consumption device. Maybe uh, you can put your content on a on an external. Uh, SD card, um, but in terms of using the, the drive that comes, the main drive that comes with it, you're really going to, once you install Office on there, you're really going to have uh, some challenges with your with your space. One of the things that you, you can do is to take off the um, recovery partition that's on here. And uh, there's, you know, it's built into the operating system. You can transfer that to a uh, USB key or something like that, and then you can re you can get back about four gigs of space. But um, beyond that, you're going to be limited. So I would recommend the 64 gigabyte version for sure. Um, would definitely recommend the Dell over the Acer uh, in terms of the build quality, uh, the weight. Uh, they're both about the same uh, dimensions. Um, and obviously the the Dell uh, has that quad core in there and definitely better graphics uh, performance than the Acer so I would definitely go for that so there you have it folks the uh, Acer W3 and the Dell Venue 8 Pro Thanks for watching.